Good morning. Welcome to the Wax Shack. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Hi, all you guys. I am sure I made a bunch of people mad. Oh, Baron. Um, I went through and I clipped all my horse's manes, as you can see, and I went through and did all the tails. And I've talked about this before. I do this every March, and I want to actually change it around and actually do after fly season in the fall and start doing my tail clipping so that they have a longer tail during the summer months. But uh, um, when I clip tails, it's a bit of a hack job. Um, I take my clippers and I just work my way right down through, kind of layering it down and, and making sure it's not a square end type of thing. And, and uh, it's, it's nothing fancy at all. I like to have my tails at the hock or even above the hocks. Depends on the horses. Some horses grow so much faster than others. Baron's tail grows really fast. Ken's tail re grows really fast. So as you can see in the piles behind us, um, this is all of Baron's. This is all of Ken's. And Bill had very little because he just doesn't have a long tail and he doesn't, his tail doesn't grow very fast. Uh, I did ladies the other day. And I just wanted to show, hey lady, um, it, the hackiness kind of goes away after a little bit. I think it's not quite as. Yeah, it, it does. Is, it I does. I don't know why, but it does. Or how? And by if it's if the tail is brushed a lot at this point, it will actually help it too. Anyhow, that's what we've done, and 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 there's no sense crying over spilt milk because <laughs> it's, it's done. It's pretty short right now. Um, it will grow back fast, <laughs> um, but I don't want it to grow back fast. I like a tail at the hock or even above the hock. Um, and you give that a couple of weeks, I believe that's going to be a pretty nice looking tail, uh, even though it's short for some of you guys. Okay, so this morning, I want to have a bit of an update on Ken. So Ken, this is Monday morning. Um, we had a good weekend and uh, everything went well with our travels. I, we told you we were, we were both going to funerals, two different funerals in two different states. And uh, that went all well. Um, so we're still dealing with Ken's leg problem. Um, we've been giving him his antibiotics every day and that's going well. He is feeling considerably better. He is just in his stall this morning just to, so we can get this uh, clipping done. He'll go outside today and we've been putting him in our inside pen at the other end here of our barn um, during, for a little bit too because it's, it's, it's warmer, it's nicer. Um, so, but today he'll go right out. Um, our vet, uh, Petra, uh, messaged me and said she was actually going to come up today and wrap, put a wrap on his, on his leg, and that would hopefully pull the swelling out of his leg. Just like it did Lady, we had a month or so ago, we had troubles with her leg that happened for some reason. We don't even know why. We don't even know. I don't even know why for sure what happened here. And maybe, maybe Petra has come up with a better conclusion as to what exactly did happen with this leg. So anyways, we'll, we'll even continue 
to update you on him and his how he's doing. We did get him all clipped up nice, um, but the leg is most definitely still bothering him, and uh, it's just going to take time. I just wanted to say I was gone longer than Jim was over the weekend, and to me, he said there wasn't much of a change, but to me, it looks like he's walking way yeah. better yeah. than he was when I left, so that's And we'll good. put him outside even right now, and you can show it. It's not great, but it's better. He's a good sport anyways. So these are my new clippers I just picked up. They weren't cheap, but they're actually the exact same, same, exact same kind as the last one. But one thing I really like is it comes in this nice box. And this, that might have been part of the problem with my old one. Um, it might have picked up moisture sitting in the barn. And this is going to help that tremendously from picking up moisture. I guess we could put the link for the... Um we got it from Amazon, so we can put the link in the description. In our Amazon store, we have a store there, so if you are interested in it, you can look it up there. But it's funny because we were going to, I didn't even realize it came in a container, and um, we were going to get a container to put it in, and it just all came together, so it's awesome. even put some more stuff in there okay let me um if any guys want this hair you're welcome to it send uh money for shipping and it's yours Aaron has been very good. I'm not concerned anywhere near as much about him kicking, but I still don't like to walk between him and another horse. Thank you. I'm gonna get his head in water. Okay. Okay, so. I want to talk a little bit about what we're doing now because of our lack of horses. We have two horses that are not being able to work. So that forces me to use Bear and my three-year-old coming forward um, and to do more work with him. So what I've done even today is I've, I have my sled over there tied to the truck body and I need the manure, manure spreader. Um, so I actually brought that in with the skids here to set it up. My horse is built. I tied to that wagon over there and I'm going to go get them and bring the sled over to here unhitch and attempt to drive line drive the two which I've never done before and line drive them over the pole of the other cart on the spreader and so I can spread manure today and then I'm going to go back to a couple days ago when I hitched the two of them up for the first time and then I'll explain a whole bunch of things at that time. I'm just gonna hold Baron's head for a second. I'm gonna hit him real quick. Like I said, or I thought I'd said, it was a Monday morning. I said two days off.
As you guys have used horses before, know that on a Monday morning with a young colt like this, they're going to be feeling pretty good. Now, my sled was here this morning, so I hitched onto this on the sled and took them around the field one time, or half around the field. I didn't want to use up any energy because I have a lot of manure spread today, and I'm going to use Baron to do all that spreading. So let's. Uh, so they did fine. Um, nothing was a surprise, um, but. I want to go back to, I don't know, five or six days ago now when I hitched these two up for the first time and then we'll come back and see how Baron's progressing on the manure spreader with Bill. So this is the first time that I have ever hitched up Baron and Bill together. Since Ken is lame and will be lame for a while now, I have got to kind of speed up the process. I had every intention of starting these two and I'm expecting them to be my main team after a little bit here, but I was not going to do it this way. I was going to kind of do it gradually with Ken's help. Also, Baron has always been on the right hand side and now here today I'm putting him on the left hand side so that Bill can stay on his normal side. So I'm actually doing two different things with all this colt, which I don't like to do all at once, but I'm hitching him with a new horse, Bill, but I'm also hitching him on the opposite side of the pole. The work that I've done with him in the shafts will actually help him at this time to be comfortable with the pole on this side of him because with the shafts, he had a pole on both sides. So this makes it actually a, a better, a great way to do it. But still, it's two different things that we're doing with him all at the same time. You will notice that I actually led each horse individually out to the cart instead of trying to line drive them together. I probably could have line drive, drove them, but being the first time, I was afraid there would be more apt to be fighting. So I just decided to go this way and there'll be plenty of time later on to hitch them together and line drive them around. You will also notice that the sled and the cart was already next to the truck body before I even started the process. I actually set everything up with the skid steer so I didn't have to be out in the wide open to hitch them up. Since I'm done with my winter log job, I am also going to be home on the farm full time and I should be able to hitch up Baron most every day from here on in, although the next few days look kind of sketchy as whether or not I can do that. But also because the fact that of Ken, it's forcing me to do that and so that's good and bad both of course.
if you've been watching my logging uh, videos that I've had here the last little bit, you'll notice this is the exact same cart and the sled is the same sled that I used at the end of my log job. The only thing different is I put a my two by six um, floorboards back onto it so we could use it more in different ways down here on the farm. This is the first time I've hitched onto this cart since I've been home from logging and for some reason things are tight so I have to drop a, a link on one side so that I can get this hitched up. I'm quite sure after I go around the field once I should be able to tighten it back up again to make it to be where I want it to be. I probably didn't need to, but I decided to take Baron's lead rope and hitch it to Bill's haim just in case he does something stupid and tries to take off. He's hitched kind of two different ways. So the reason that I chose this setup to use when I hitched these guys up for the first time is the cart and the tongue on the cart is higher, so it kind of protects the situation if someone was to kick I usually would have a long pole on the scoot and just use it like that and that would have worked okay as it turned out but I just didn't know so it just comes down to safety and just the idea you don't know what's going to happen I felt this is the safest way to go under the circumstances So probably my biggest concern as we're going across this field is that Baron would swing over and just grab right hold of Bill's neck. That's kind of the stallion thing to do. And, uh, but he never did. He, he uh, kind of swung his head over there quite a few times and I had to pull him back, but uh, he never attempted to bite him.
Off to our right here are the remaining round bales that we have. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to come down and carry them back up to the barn. I think there's 12 bales left here to take up. I might use the sled or I might use the wagon, hard to say. If you watch closely to the right, you'll see two deer running through the woods here. We've been having a lot of deer in our fields lately, probably from me spread manure and the remaining grain that's in the manure that they're after. But we've been seeing 15 to 17 deer in the field for quite some time now. So for the first time being hitched together, I was very pleased. I would tell you the truth, I was expecting quite a bit more troubles with them. But I would say that they did really well.
So there's five loads out in the fields and it did really good. So now we hope to have the vet come in to put a wrap on Ken's leg and we want to show you that. So we'll see you in a few. Okay, so just wanted to show you Ken. Petra has come and gone and has put a wrap on his leg. She's pretty convinced that it is cellulitis and because he's had it several times it's just something that we've got to deal with and it just kind of keeps coming back and uh, but hopefully we can get this leg down and get him over his lameness um, but it is going to take some time I did want to share with you also what I did with that thermometer this is pretty stupid but I must say it it uh, it kind of um, looked like the right way to do it. There is a cover on these thermometers that you need to take off before you give, take a temperature. But it's kind of strange because it's kind of like a nice plastic thing that seemed like should have just gone in like that. And there was two edges on it that opened up to the inside. So it seemed like it would work just fine. But um, it did not. So anyways, um, that's that. And uh, just one of those things, I guess. So hopefully, Bill, I mean, hopefully Ken will get over his ailment pretty fast and the, the progress with Baron and Bill is going pretty good. So we'll continue with that. And we do have a lot more things to show you in the upcoming videos. So you guys stay tuned and we'll see you next time.